All right, so you would have seen this weekend the Chief Justice Mukwenga Mukwenga called on the former president, Jacob Zuma, to file an affidavit dealing uh, with what the appropriate sanction would be if he was to be found guilty of a contempt of court. So the former president has until Wednesday to file that affidavit, which must be no longer than 15 pages. Uh, let's chat a bit more about this now. Mfetsane Gasboto, a practicing uh, advocate and uh, former lecturer, joins me now. Very good evening to you, sir. Thanks indeed for your time this evening. So is this an unusual move? Does the uh, Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court have the right to make such a decision? Hi, and uh, evening to viewers. I think it goes just a tad more than just a right. It's more of an obligation, really, because uh, you would know that the Constitutional Court is the final arbiter uh, on matters that go through our court processes and the decision that they make is final one can readily appreciate the political implications of the decisions that the constitutional court is uh, going to make um, either for or against the commission you can therefore appreciate the uh, the cautiousness of the constitutional court in giving this directive and ultimately, it's not just a question that is legal in its nature, it's yeah. political in its nature. And of course, it will have political implications. And just as a final point um, in response to your question, of course, the lower courts, such as the magistrate's court, is a creature of statute. By that we mean they are bound by the laws within the four corners of uh, their statutes and rules and so on. The constitutional court and other superior courts are sui generis in a sense that they can regulate their own processes. So to the extent that the Constitutional Court is of the view that they want to hear from the former president in this regard, of course they're empowered to do so. And yeah. as a matter of fact, I'll take it as far as they've got an obligation to do so. Uh, could one view this as legally strategic, uh, given the temperature uh, in the country at the moment? Well, if your question is suggesting that um, the Constitutional Court is fully aware of the political implications of the mm -hmm. decision, and therefore they want to be extra cautious in informing themselves of all the relevant factors before they make that decision, then the answer must be yes. All right. So in taking this into account, I saw quite a number of views at the weekend where there had been some criticism, uh, I guess from some quarters suggesting that a preferential treatment perhaps has been given to the former president. But uh, you're saying now that there is uh, a leeway for the chief justice uh, to extend uh, his hand to ask the former president what he would believe that sanction should be if he is, if he is found guilty. What would be the other aspects? Politically, yes, if that had to be taken into account, the political ramifications if he had to be found guilty. What other aspects would be taken into account in such I guess one would say a crucial decision. We've never had, I guess, a former uh, a president uh, 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 in democratic South Africa uh, face this kind of, 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 of action. Yeah, it's a very good question, I must say. Um, and perhaps let me prefix my answer to that with this. It is not in the ordinary course mm. that a party who fails to file an opposition to an application is given the leeway or the opportunities the former president has. And from that perspective, you can appreciate the views that you're making reference to, that in the ordinary course, it would appear that the, uh, the former president is given far more leeway than an ordinary litigant would be. Yeah. And in essence, just from a principal point of view, I make no views on what I think of this particular matter. Yeah. But in, as a matter of principle, you can appreciate why someone would view this as the Constitutional Court is bending over backwards um, uh, to accommodate the former president. And of course, the same criticism that has been um, leveled against the commission itself, the State Capture yeah. Commission in colloquial terms. Yeah. So you can appreciate that difficulty. But with that being said, you have to counterbalance the considerations. We've already alluded to the, to the political aspects of the debate. But from a legal perspective, you can also appreciate mm. that ultimately, 
we're dealing with, um, I mean, of course, the former president is no different from your ordinary citizens, at least in a strict sense. Yeah. Um, but from a legal perspective, if this is a court which is a final arbiter, you want them to be fully conversant with all the countervailing factors before they make a final determination. Yeah. And I suppose that's where the Chief Justice is coming from. He wants to place before himself all the relevant factors before he makes the determination. I mean, I'm, I have no personal view. I actually do have a personal of you which i will not share <laughs> on whether that was a correct call or not but you can certainly appreciate where the uh, the chief justice is coming from okay. and you can also appreciate why there's such an uproar on the issue as well uh, just very quickly uh, mr kasabot we're running out of time i mean how likely are we here to hear from uh, the former president uh, jacob zuma wednesday is fast approaching and i say this on the basis that he did not make submissions or representations when the commission had basically made its application to the court asking for that two-year sentence are we likely to hear from him at all you think i don't know it's not even a legal question it's yeah. a question of what's in the in the mind of the former president mm. i'm unfortunately not privy to it yeah. uh it's yeah. a wait and see but we we all know that he's written numerous statements since the whole debacle started. He's given his opinion, and his opinion is um, the Constitutional Court is captured. I mean, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm being unfair on the former president, but the essence of what he said is he'd rather go to jail than subject himself to these processes. Mm -hmm. And that's what we know from his state of mind as to whether he will or not. I, unfortunately, as an advocate, cannot answer that question. Only the former president knows the answer to that. And we'll certainly wait to see if indeed that's going to be the case. I understand his lawyers were consulting with him on that uh, particular aspect. Thank you very much indeed uh, for your time this evening. And Fesane Ka Sibotu, thanks indeed for joining us here on The Full View this evening. The